It wasn't a pleasant return to Capitol Hill for former Senator John Corzine. He was subpoenaed to tell lawmakers how the company he headed, MF Global, collapsed and what happened to $1.2 billion of customers' money. I simply do not know where the money is or why the accounts have not been reconciled to date. Lawmakers say their constituents' investments were a way to protect themselves against big swings in commodity prices. Their plight weighs on my mind every day. As the chief executive officer of MF Global, at the time of its bankruptcy, I truly apologize to all those affected. Corzine said he is devastated by what happened. Asked whether customer money was used to shore up MF Global's failing finances, Corzine repeatedly said there was never any intent to break the law. The fundamental failing at MF Global was that customer money was commingled with MF Global's money, and regardless of how the money was invested, it was a fundamental violation of industry rules. It was something of a surprise that Corzine answered questions, since anything he said could be used against him should criminal charges be brought. This was the first time in more than a hundred years that a former senator had been subpoenaed to appear before Congress. Two other congressional committees have summoned Corzine to appear in the next week. Jerry Bodlander, Associated Press, Capitol Hill.